Avengers, John Racer 3 here today, and in honor of Avengers Infinity War coming out, I have purchased a lot of character cards for a little battle tournament that is going to be on here. We have Thanos, and then we have the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy about to fight for the Infinity Stones. I'm going to unbox all these cards, and then I'll tell you what the battle is going to be. We have our bad guy Thanos all unboxed, and then we have the people who are going to try and stop him. As you can see, we have five cards selected here, all in possession of an Infinity Stone, not at the current time of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but at one time they did. This is Doctor Strange with the Time Stone. We've had Loki with the Tesseract. We have Thor with the Aether. We have Vision with the Mind Stone, and then Star-Lord with the purple stone. So each of the wielders of the infinity stones are going to be on top of a box. We've got, as you can see, we have seven cars here. We've got Rocket, Groot, Gamora, Hawkeye, War Machine, Iron Man, and Captain America all going to try and stop Thanos. They will merge. If the wielder falls off of the box, then Thanos will receive that stone. And then if a car is destroyed by Thanos, right here, then they will be dead and out until the next round. But if they do manage to succeed and beat Thanos in the lane merge, then they will continue to be alive. Anyway, let's just play. So here we go. We have Thanos going up against War Machine. Can War Machine stop him? Three, two, one. It does. No, it does look like it as War Machine will save Doctor Strange from Thanos. The second wielder will be Loki going up to save him. Surprisingly, Iron Man. But can Thanos take him down? We'll have to see. Three, two, one. Look at that! Iron Man's gonna save him! What a run! One. Thor is up next, wielding the ether. Can Cap save him? Or will Thanos take control of that too? Three, two, one. Look at that! Cap <laughs> barely successfully captures Thor from Thanos' grasp. That was crazy. Look at that! Next up we have Vision, aka Jarvis, trying to be saved by Hawkeye, who has not been effective in any movie, let's be real, going up against Thanos, who will take it. Three, two, one. Look at that! No one is gonna get him! We're gonna have to redo that, for Vision is still standing. Here's Hawkeye's second attempt. Three, two, one. Look at that! He stops Thanos in his tracks. Vision is still standing. We'll have one more round, and if Vision is still standing, he will go off and join the Avengers and get out of Thanos' grasp. This will be the third attempt. If Vision is still standing, then he'll go off with the Avengers. But if Thanos captures him, he's done. Three, two, one. Look at that. Hawkeye is actually going to save Vision. What a run. Star-Lord in possession of the Power Stone. Can Thanos achieve this stone? Or will Gamora have to stop him? We'll have to see. Father versus daughter. Three, two, one. Look at that. It's not going to happen. Gamora misses. Star-Lord, and Star-Lord is taken by Thanos. That is betrayal at its finest. That is not gonna happen. After all of the trials, the Avengers successfully claimed four of the five Infinity Stones. Thanos has now claimed Star-Lord, and with Star-Lord, he's gonna use his one Infinity Stone to try and achieve all the others, but we have our first line of defense. We have Rocket and Groot going up against Star-Lord. 
And if they stop Star-Lord, then it's up to Thanos to get the rest of the Infinity Stones. Star-Lord, will they take out Groot and Rocket? We'll have to see. Three, two, one. And he will Groot and Rocket crash awfully as Star-Lord takes him out. Thanos is going to use Star-Lord to try and get to the other Infinity Stones. We have Doctor Strange, Loki, Thor, and Vision. And then here's the catch. If Vision somehow beats Star-Lord down the merge and he hits Thanos, then Thanos now has control of his stone. This will be the same for all of the other Infinity Stones. Let's see how many Thanos can get. We have Star-Lord versus Vision. Let's see. Three, two, one. And it's going to be Star-Lord hitting Thanos and beating Vision, so this way Vision has lost and is now under Thanos' control. So because the Mind Stone is a part of Vision's body, in order to have the stone all by itself, it'll have to be out of Vision's body, which will obviously kill him. So Vision is dead and no longer in use. This will not be the same for the other wielders because their stone is not physically embedded in their body. So now we're going to have Starlove go up against Thor, see if he can get the ether from his grasp. With Thanos at the end, can he capture Thor? We'll have to see. Star-Lord is going up against Thor. Can he get him? Three, two, one. He will! One. Will! Thanos now has control of Star-Lord and Thor. Thor is going to go up against Loki, and Star-Lord's going to go up against Doctor Strange to get the rest of the stones, and if this happens, then Thanos will have all of the stones, and the Avengers are going to have to get them back. Brother versus brother, can Loki beat Thor and keep his stone? We'll have to say three, two, one. And Thor is going to beat Loki, capturing him and taking his stone. Star-Lord's now going after Doctor Strange. This will be the last stone Thanos needs. Three, two, one. Look at that! Star-Lord is going to shut Strange down, giving Thanos the power of every single stone that there is. Look at... Thanos now has control of all of the Infinity Stones. The Avengers are going to have to get them back. If you want to see the Avengers get them back, make sure to click the link at the end so you can go check out Hot Wheels Tournaments' channel where the second part will be held. The second part will be posted here in a week or two, but if you want to see it right now, click the link and I'll see you guys there. See you later. Peace!